Hi everybody, my name is Vahid Fagehi and for the BIM course instructed by Dr. Jan, uh, I selected the Walt Disney Concert Hall for creating the 3D model and putting some parameters in it. As you can see here, there's a lots of curved wall that needs to be uh, modeled. This is the 3D model that I created for, for this project. I tried to uh, create all the curved wall using the spline uh, function and creating a form uh, as a surface uh, by, by help of uh, two splines. Most of the, uh, these walls are created in that way. After creating a wall, I tried X-ray uh, feature to uh, fine-tune the way that wall looks and uh, also after creating a, a wall I, I again create a form uh, out of it to uh, set some uh, width and thickness for each uh, individual wall. For the parameters of this model I picked these two walls and put two parameters to control each one's height uh, and also I put some parameters to control the thickness of these curved walls let me show you how uh, these parameters work for example in here I'm gonna change the height of this wall to 180 and you can see it goes up and also I can change the height of this one up to say 200 it goes up again and also the thickness let me show you the way that this thick thickness of uh, these walls work say I'm gonna put two feet as the thickness is gonna calculate the outer and inner thickness of uh, all the curves see it works like that I created three different um, patterns for facade of this model the first one as you can see is one third step I tried to uh, create a one fourth step but I couldn't which was uh, more similar to the real um, project uh, but in here it is a one inch depth of a one third step I added a void to create a spacing between these uh, uh, on the surface of the curved wall and the surrounding walls that I uh, add these uh, patterns to it. The second pattern is a, a rectangular shape pattern. I use a, uh, the similar uh, way for creating this one as the one-third uh, step. It is a one inch depth of a solid form with a void similar to the previous one to make some spacing between these uh, pa these uh, rectangulars this is mainly uh, I put it put this mainly on the surface of the two external uh, floors which I put in two different elevation in the model the last pattern that I create is again a rectangular pattern uh, this pattern has a glass surface with a met white metal tube around it. This metal tube has a uh, six inch diameter. I uh, put it in the uh, glass walls that were on the main entrance of the building and also on the east side wall of the model. This is the model after putting all of those uh, patterns. This is the uh, glass wall that I put that uh, glass uh, pattern this is the uh, floor and the second floor is here you can see here these are the uh, surrounding wall and also curved wall uh, when I put the surrounding walls uh, it become a huge fall that uh, Revit would freeze anytime that I want to import it into the project and also um, Revit gives hundreds of uh, errors when I wanted to uh, put uh, these uh, patterns the, the patterns that I created to these walls and it it, it couldn't just put my, my created patterns on these curved walls then I just removed these from my project 
This is my Revit project after importing the mass family. I'm putting the walls and floors and roofs. Uh, you can see here there are some problems. Uh, Revit couldn't uh, make the roof uh, s small pieces of the roof here, probably because there are some irregular curves. Uh, also, you can see uh, there is these patterns are correctly in here, but not the surface and the surrounding walls. I put some uh, windows and some interior design as you can see here I tried to find the exact same uh, shape for the uh, windows. I put some interior design as well to show how it could look uh, in, in, in this model. Okay, that is my model. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you enjoyed the way I created this model.